This week's episode is coming to you from backstage at the Scratch Night at Aerial Edge in Glasgow. today with some of the auditions for the new Aerial Edge performance group. Um, the purpose of these auditions is not to, to test people to see how good they currently are, it's to see how they work with one another, how creative they are and how we can help develop them into ensemble artists. So at the moment we have uh, one of our instructors Julie who is putting them through a brief dance sequence. Um, it's quite contemporary release so we're looking at how people move, how people can emote physically and whether or not they can follow the choreography. What we're looking for is not to see how good the students currently are or at any of their current circus or physical abilities. What we're looking at is trying to build an ensemble group. So what we're looking for is people who are keen, people who are enthusiastic, people who are passionate about performing people who can learn and most importantly is how they work together and how they collaborate. So it's not about being an amazing performer, it's about being happy to work hard and work with each other to make really good work. Hi there, I'm Mark Gibson and today I'll be teaching inversions. So one of the most important things in Aerial, or one of the fundamental things that we learn in Aerial is how to turn upside down. So the exercises that I'm going to show you today are some basic inversions. Uh, we'll start with the most difficult and then we'll progress through this, some of the things that you can do to train up to be able to do that sort of thing. Okay, so this is the part where we um, say, please don't try this at home. Um, this exercise is probably best not done on a chin-up bar in your home, um, principally because you're turning upside down and you don't normally have a, a suitable crash mat um, in your house to land on. So definitely not to be using things like mattresses or cushions for something like that. So we want a proper crash mat and hopefully if it's your first time of trying something like this, you should definitely be doing it under the guidance of an instructor. If you want to try this uh, in a controlled and supervised environment, try it in one of our classes. So showing you the main part of the exercise. This is what we call a straight arm, straight leg lift. Um, and as far as inversions go, this is what you want to be aiming for overall. The ability to keep your arms straight, keep your legs straight and lift through to an inverted pike position. We do break that down in a number of different ways when it comes to uh, training that as an exercise. Um, the first of those is just the straight leg lift where we're um, starting from a dead hang and we're lifting the legs up as high as we can get them go. We can try and progress on with that um, by lifting the legs up really nice and high and try and get them up towards the bar um, and then try and slow their descent back down afterwards. So you're starting with the legs high and then you're lowering them down. So that's if you don't yet have the strength to bring them all the way up to the bar. 
So the two parts of um, the exercise, the first part that we're looking at is lifting the legs. Um, the second part is where we're actually trying to bring it under the bar. So obviously that takes quite a bit of strength to do and it's a range of motion that most adults are unfamiliar with. So what we start with there is um, negatives of that inversion. So we're starting from the inverted pike position and then controlling that so that it gets lowered down from that point. So many people though, even that is quite challenging. Um, so what we also tend to do is to start with what we call mini kittens, which is um, keeping ourselves in a nice tucked position where we're holding that tuck and then lowering the feet down at the front and over a period of time increasing that range of motion. So ultimately we're able to tie the two things together. You get stronger from doing the mini kittens and the negative parts of the action. You get stronger at doing the leg lifts until you can join the two together and then you can lift straight up from a dead hang all the way through to pike. If you want to take that even further, then there's a, an exercise where we can lift that all the way through to uh, the position we call skinning the cat. And you can lift the legs up the front, go through the inverted pike, and down the other side to skinning the cat position, and then being able to pull it out afterwards. So, if this is something that you want to try out in some of our classes, because these moves along with the pull-up are two of the really foundational exercises for being able to do the majority of the aerial arts. So if you want to be good at aerial, if you can do an inversion very, very well, um, then a lot of the other techniques will come to you very, very easily. If you want to try this out in one of our classes, then uh, Circus Fitness is a good place to start. Uh, we also uh, use this as an integral part of our uh, conditioning and our aerial classes, so trapeze and silks and other arts like that is a really good place to start. If this is something that you really want to focus on in a, in a little bit more depth and it's something you want to master quickly, then our hardcore class is probably one of the places you can best come for that. And now it's time for the Aerial Edge News on High. This week's News on High is coming from the 1873 Hall in the Brigit. We've got Easter workshops coming up from the 3rd to the 6th of April. These are adult workshops and will cover a range of disciplines and their full day course. Places are filling up fast for these, so book online as soon as you can. One of our most popular workshops, Cloud Swings, coming back on the 29th, that's next Sunday. Um, Places are really limited for this, so I would book in fast. As always, we have hoodies, t-shirts, joggies and onesies available on our website, and now you can get them from our reception. And finally, don't forget, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube, so follow us for all the latest updates. Mm -hmm. That was news from On High. I'm Julie Riddle, over and out.